Hello friends, merhaba arkadaşlar. In this lesson we are going to learn the verbal adjectives. Sıfat, fiiller. Adjective is sıfat and verb is fiil. We will simply add the verbal adjective suffixes to the verbs to make them verbal adjectives for the nouns. And the first verbal adjective suffix we are going to learn is an or an, which alternates according to two-way vowel harmony. Now let's see an example. The boy who is running on the street is very noisy. So the noun is the boy, but it's not a regular boy. I'm talking about the boy running on the street. So I can say this boy is the running boy. Boy is the noun and running here is the verbal adjective. So first we are going to write the noun boy, çocuk, but I want to say running boy. So I'm going to write the verb run and I'm going to make this verb a verbal adjective by adding verbal adjective suffix. So running boy is koşan çocuk. Where is he running? On the street. Street, sokak. On the street, sokak, ta. The boy, çocuk, who is running on the street, sokakta koşan çocuk, is very noisy. Very, çok, noisy, yaramaz. The boy, who is running on the street, sokakta koşan çocuk, is very noisy. Çok yaramaz. Another example. The man, but which man? It's not a regular man, who is writing a letter. So I can call him writing man. The noun is man. Let's write the noun first. Adam. But which man? Writing man. The verb is write. I'm going to make this verb a verbal adjective. So I need to add the verbal adjective suffix an. And it is yazan adam. Writing man. Writing what? A letter. Letter is mektup. The man who is writing a letter, mektup yazan adam, is very old, very çok old, yaşlı. So the sentence is, the man who is writing a letter is very old, mektup yazan adam, çok yaşlı. Another example, the student, but which student who is learning? So I can call him or her learning student. How am I going to write it? Student, öğrenci, learning student, learn is öğren, and the verbal adjective suffix en, learning student, öğrenen, öğrenci. Learning what? Turkish. So the student, öğrenci, who is learning Turkish, Türkçe öğrenen, öğrenci, is very smart, very çok smart, zeki. The student who is learning Turkish, Türkçe öğrenen öğrenci, is very smart, çok zeki. And the last example, the baby, but which baby, who is drinking? So I can call her or him drinking baby. How am I going to write it? Baby, bebek, the verb is drink, each, drinking baby, içen bebek, drinking what? Milk. Süt. The baby, bebek, who is drinking milk, süt içen bebek, is very sweet, very çok, sweet, tatlı. The baby who is drinking milk is very sweet, süt içen bebek, çok tatlı. All right, now let's see another suffix for verbal adjectives. This verbal adjective suffix alternates according to four-way vowel harmony as dık, dik, duk or dük. And also because of consonant alternation, it can be tık, tik, tuk or tük. While writing these verbal adjectives, we are going to need possessive adjective suffixes you can see on the right. Let's see an example. The book I am reading is very interesting. So the noun is the book. But it's not a regular book. I'm talking about the book I'm reading. So first, let's write the noun book, kitap, and the verb read. 
Now I'm going to make this verb a verbal adjective by adding verbal adjective suffix duk. But the K is going to alternate itself to soft G do consonant alternation. I'm going to add the possessive adjective suffix here. Um. Okuduğum kitap. The book I'm reading. is very interesting. Very çok interesting. İlginç. As you see, first I'm writing the verb. After that, I'm adding the verbal adjective suffix. And in the end, I add the possessive adjective suffix. Because this book is read by me. It's like my book. It's like my reading. Because of that, I should always add the possessive adjective suffix to the end. Also, we can see that this action is going on at the present time. But this verbal adjective... We can use both for present time and for past time. Now let's see an example for the past time. The book I was reading yesterday was very interesting. Now first let's write the verbal adjective with the noun. The book, kitap, I was reading. Read is oku, verbal adjective suffix, duk, and the possessive adjective suffix, um. Okuduğum kitap. As you see, the form is exactly the same. There is no change. So we can use this form for present time and for past time both. So how am I going to understand this is this action is going on in the past? From first of all, from time expression. Yesterday. Dün okuduğum kitap. So I understand this happened yesterday in the past. Also, if we continue was very interesting, very çok, interesting, ilginç, was interesting, ilginç, t, past and suffix. So if I see there's a time expression like yesterday about past, and if I see the past and suffix, in this case it is t, so I understand this action happened in the past. So the sentence is, the book I was reading yesterday, dün okuduğum kitap, was very interesting. Çok ilginçti. Let's see another example. The movie you are watching is really funny. The action is happening at the moment. And the noun is the movie. But which movie you are watching? Let's write the noun first. The movie, film, you are watching. Watch is izle. And I'm going to add the verbal adjective suffix izledik. And the possessive adjective suffix to the end for you in is the Dean film. The movie you are watching is the Dean film. You're watching, you are watching. That's why I need to add the possessive adjective suffix to the end in. Is really funny, really gerçekten funny, comic. The movie you are watching is the Dean film is really funny. Gerçekten komik. And the last example. The house we sold last week was so beautiful. So the noun is the house. But which house we sold? The house we sold. How am I going to write it? First the noun house. Ev. The house we sold. Sell is sat. And I'm going to add the verbal adjective suffix. Sat tık. Who sold it? We sold it. So I need to add possessive adjective suffix for we. Sattığımız ev. The house we sold. Sattığımız ev. When? Last week. Last geçen week hafta. The house we sold last week. Geçen hafta sattığımız ev. Was so beautiful. So, çok beautiful, güzel. Was beautiful, güzel di, past tense suffix. The house we sold last week was so beautiful. Geçen hafta sattığımız ev çok güzeldi. All right, now let's see another suffix. This time it's about future. We remember this suffix from future time. Acak or ecek, which alternates according to two-way vowel harmony. So the action will be in the future this time. Let's see an example. The teacher 
who will give the lecture is not here. The noun is teacher, but it's not a regular teacher. This teacher I'm talking about is the person who will give the lecture. Let's write it. The teacher, öğretmen. Which teacher who will give? Give is ver. Will give with verbal adjective suffix verecek. The teacher who will give verecek öğretmen. Give what? The lecture. Lecture is ders. But I'm talking about a specific lecture here. For example, it's a Turkish lecture. So I need the accusative suffix dersi. The teacher, öğretmen, who will give the lecture? Dersi verecek öğretmen is not here. Here, burada, not here, değil. The teacher, who will give the lecture, is not here. Dersi verecek öğretmen burada değil. Another example. The students, which students, who will have exam, are in the class. Let's write the noun first. Student is öğrenci. Students, öğrenciler. Which students, who will have? In this case, have is all. And the verbal adjective suffix, olacak. The students who will have. Who will have what? Exam. Sınav olacak öğrenciler. So, the students, öğrenciler. Who will have exam? Sınav olacak öğrenciler. Are in the class. Class, sınıf. In the class, sınıf ta. The students who will exam are in the class. Sınav olacak öğrenciler sınıfta. Another example. The car, but which car? The car I will buy is very expensive. Let's write the noun first. Car, araba. The car I will buy, buy is al, and the verbal adjective suffix acak, but as you see, I say I will buy, so I need possessive adjective suffix here. That's going to be my car, my buying, this is my buying, so I need to add the possessive adjective suffix, alacağım araba. The car I will buy, alacağım araba, is very expensive, very Çok, expensive, pahalı. The car I will buy, alacağım araba, is very expensive, çok pahalı. And the last example, the meal we will cook is very delicious. So this is not a regular meal, I'm talking about the meal we will cook. Our meal, our cooking, all right? So the meal, yemek, we will cook, the verb is cook, pişir. Verbal adjective suffix pişirecek. Who will cook? We will cook. It is our cooking. Because of that, I need the possessive adjective suffix here. Pişireceğimiz. The meal we will cook. Pişireceğimiz yemek. Is very delicious. Very, çok, delicious, lezzetli. The meal we will cook. Pişireceğimiz yemek. Is very delicious. Çok lezzetli. Alright. And the last suffix is mış, miş, muş or müş, which alternates according to four-way vowel harmony. This verbal adjective suffix is a bit different from the other ones because we mostly, not always, but mostly use it for passive voice or passive sentences. For example, in English, burn is verb one, burnt is verb three for the passive voice. And we can say burnt house. That means the house is burnt and I can call it, it's a burnt house. But how am I going to say it in Turkish? Burn is yak in Turkish. And for passive, burnt is yan which we are going to learn all these sort of verbs in the passive voice lesson. So burnt is yan and house is ev, but this is not enough for Turkish grammar. I need to add the verbal adjective suffix to the verb yanmış ev, burnt house. Let's see another example. Smash is verb one and smashed is 
verb three. Smashed tomato. We can say that means tomato is smashed. It's a smashed tomato. How am I going to write it? Smash is as in Turkish. And for passive, smashed is ezil. And tomato is domates. And I'm going to simply add the verbal adjective suffix to the verb to make it a verbal adjective. And it is ezilmiş domates. Smash tomato, ezilmiş domates. Another example, break is verb one and broken is verb three in English. And we can say broken window. The window is broken, so it's a broken window. And in Turkish, break is kır, broken for passive, kırıl. And window is pencere. We are going to add the verbal adjective suffix. So broken window is kırılmış pencere. One last example. Paint is verb one. Painted is verb three. So I can say painted door. This door is painted. So it's a painted door. And in Turkish, paint is boya. And painted for passive is boyan. And the door is kapı. Painted door, boyanmış kapı. All right, friends, if you have any questions about this lesson, please write them in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and hope to see you in our following lessons. For now, goodbye. Hoşçakalın.